Hey there plant enthusiasts, we're back at it again. My name is Brad and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the beautiful Philodendron Brazil. With its beautiful shades of dark lime and medium green, this plant is sure to be a showstopper no matter where it is. In this video, we're going to talk about the tips and tricks for how to care for this beautiful specimen. So, let's go! <laughs> Brazil is prized for its unique foliage. Its heart-shaped leaves are covered in shades of lime green, dark green, and medium green. The philodendron Brazil is a relative of the heartleaf philodendron as well as the lime or neon philodendron. First things first, let's talk about the light requirements for the philodendron Brazil. The philodendron Brazil prefers bright indirect light. That will help it get these beautiful variegations in its leaves. Sometimes you'll notice that the leaves will either be a solid green color or a solid lime color. This is for a couple of reasons. The solid dark green color is typically a sign that your philodendron Brazil isn't getting enough light. Be sure to give it more bright indirect light to see if that will help to get those pops of variegation that the philodendron Brazil is known for. If on the other hand you notice that your leaves just become lime green, chances are your philodendron Brazil might be getting too much light. I wouldn't worry about it if you just see one lime colored leaf. However, if you see multiple lime colored leaves appearing one after another, it might be time to reduce the light levels just a little bit. Next, let's talk about the temperature requirements for your philodendron Brazil. Remember, this plant is native to the tropic regions. With that said, it can still tolerate temperatures as low as 65 degrees. However, it prefers those warm temperatures of around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's talk about what humidity levels your philodendron Brazil prefers. It prefers to have humidity levels in the 50% plus range. This usually isn't a problem during the summertime because those warm temperatures are able to hold more moisture in the air. During the winter time, however, you may notice that the humidity levels around your plant may drop. The easiest, most efficient, and best way to raise those humidity levels is to purchase a humidifier. This isn't a requirement, however, if you notice brown edges on your philodendron Brazil, it might be time to look into getting a humidifier or finding other creative ways to raise the humidity levels around your plant. Soil is also a very important and often overlooked component of caring for your philodendron Brazil. This particular philodendron Brazil is mixed in a combination of potting mix as well as Purolite. I like to use a 2-1 ratio. That is, for every two cups of potting soil, I use one cup of Purolite. I find that this gives it the best drainage while also retaining the proper moisture that your philodendron Brazil really needs to make sure that it feeds the beautiful leaves that it has. It should also be noted that your philodendron Brazil is susceptible to root rot. You need that drainage to prevent the root rot from occurring. If you do experience root rot on your plant, simply lift the root ball out of the pot and use a diluted solution of hydrogen peroxide. Spray it on the roots, dry the roots, clean the roots, and once that's done, pot it in some fresh potting mix and you'll be good to go. Next, let's talk about the potting size for your philodendron Brazil. This is a very controversial topic. A lot of times you'll see people say, well, your pot shouldn't be too big and shouldn't be too small. The reason why your pot shouldn't be too big is because people have the tendency to overwater rather than underwater. If your pot is too big, you'll be more susceptible to overwatering. However, your plant can survive in an oversized pot. This particular philodendron Brazil is on a moss pole. Because it's on a moss pole, I'm not really concerned about the pot size that my philodendron is in right now. This is a six inch terracotta pot, so it tends to dry out more frequently. What I like to do is I like to bind my philodendron Brazil up the moss pole and I actually water from the moss pole as opposed to in the pot. With this method, my philodendron Brazil has absolutely thrived. The leaves have continued to get larger and larger and larger and I haven't had any signs of root rot whatsoever. If you prefer to keep your philodendron Brazil in a regular sized pot, that's fine too. What you want to make sure that you do is every once in a while check the root ball to make sure that your plant is not being too saturated with water. With terracotta pots your 
plant will have more breathability, so you will need to water more frequently, and you will also be less likely to experience root rot. If, however, you're using a nursery pot or some kind of ceramic pot, you might want to check every once in a while that the bottom of the root ball isn't soggy, as well as wanting to make sure that your roots still look healthy. You want that nice uh, white root growth on your roots. If you like videos like this and would like to see more videos about tips, tricks, and care for popular houseplants, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and would mean a lot. Thank you so much. Now, back to the video. One popular question that I get about caring for the philodendron Brazil is how do you get your leaves to go from this small leaf to this bigger leaf? There are a couple of things that you can do to get your leaves to become bigger. The easiest thing to do is to grow your philodendron Brazil or any philodendron really on a moss pole. The moss pole encourages your leaves to get bigger and bigger as it begins to vine up. As you can see in my philodendron Brazil, the leaves continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger as the vine gets longer and longer and longer. Another method that you can use to get your leaves to become bigger is to fertilize. Use a well-balanced liquid fertilizer. I like to use a 10-10-10 solution. This liquid fertilizer, I don't dilute in any way, meaning if it says for me to use one tablespoon per gallon of water, that's what I use. Some people like to do a half dilution. I don't really run into a problem with fertilizer burn because I like to water my philodendron Brazil from the top of the moss pole. So I would recommend that you give this a try if you're struggling to have your leaves become bigger and bigger. You might notice that in time your philodendron Brazil is throwing off leaves that are smaller than the previous set. Chances are when this happens it's because your plant is root bound. Check to make sure that your plant isn't too root bound. If it is, all you have to do is just size up in the pot. Next, let's talk about yellowing leaves. Yellowing leaves can be a sign of either under or overwatering as well as pests. The first thing to do is to examine for pests. Examining for pests is pretty easy. All you have to do is look on both the front and underside of your leaf to see if you notice anything suspicious. Additionally, you can take a white piece of paper, hold it underneath your leaf, and simply shake your leaf or rub your paper under your leaf as well. If you notice any kind of speckling on the paper, then chances are you have pests. There are a couple of things that you can do to treat for pests. If you have thrips, for instance, you need to treat with a systemic pesticide. If, however, you have pests such as aphids, mealybugs, or spider mites, you can treat with a solution of baking soda, dish soap, and water. You can also treat things such as mealybugs in scale using a Q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol. If you've examined for pests and don't believe that you have pests, the next thing to do is check to see if you have a watering issue. If you're in a terracotta pot, chances are you are underwatering your plant. The first thing you need to do is lift the root ball out of the pot. Examine to see whether or not the bottom of the root ball is wet, dry, or somewhere in between. If the bottom of the root ball is soggy with water, chances are you're overwatering your plant, or chances are your soil is retaining too much moisture, which is giving your plant wet feet. Amend the soil appropriately to allow for additional drainage in your pot. If you notice that your plant is bone dry from bottom to top, then chances are you're severely underwatering your plant. Give it a proper watering to where the water flows from the top all the way down to the bottom and freely flows. And from there, you'll have fully saturated the root ball and your plant should make a recovery. It's important to note that once your leaves begin to turn yellow, there really is no coming back from that if it's due to either pests or a watering issue. Be more worried about the new growth as opposed to the older growth. Yellowing leaves can also be a sign of over fertilization. If you're using a liquid fertilizer and you don't water from a moss pole and instead are watering the soil, make sure you're using the proper ratio that's on the bottle of the fertilizer. I encourage everyone to try to get their hands on the philodendron Brazil and try growing it. It really is a remarkable plant that's easy to care for. This plant will reward you with beautiful growth and especially if you grow it vertically, the leaves will just continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And there you have it, how to care for the popular philodendron Brazil, making sure that you're watering properly and fertilizing appropriately, as well as giving your philodendron Brazil bright indirect light will make sure that your philodendron Brazil thrives. Also, giving your philodendron Brazil some additional support like a moss pole will help encourage the leaves to get bigger and bigger. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next video, and happy gardening.